Hi guys, this is Full Time FM collaborating with FM Scout and this is a brand new experiment for FM15. Just before FM16 comes out, I want to get a brand new series on here just to keep you guys entertained and subscribe to the channel. I released a video a couple of minutes ago with a channel update and the FM16 features, which I'm very excited about. Can't wait for that. There's a couple of guys coming on board as well who are going to help me run the channel. I'm not going to mention who they are, uh, but they're established YouTubers. Very, very funny. They've got some great ideas for the channel, um, and I can't wait for them to get their content on the channel too. So this series is called No Way Jose. And the reason it's called No Way Jose is because I've put Jose Mourinho in charge of Blackpool just to see how he does. Now, Mourinho, probably the most famous manager in the world at the minute. Now, Fergie has retired and Lippi's retired and a couple of others as well. There's also Guardiola, a very, very successful and big name manager. But Mourinho, you know Mourinho, very cocky, very arrogant, but he can pull it off. A bit like Muhammad Ali, the boxer, very, um, very opinionated, you know, that kind of stuff. Things don't go his way. Gets a bit pissed off. Kicks off. Gives the media a load of crap as well. Doesn't like losing. Comes up with some proper daft excuses. But he can back it up. He's very successful. But one of the things I want to see is if he can do it without the finances of Chelsea or Real Madrid. And uh, see how he does at Blackpool. Now Blackpool are in absolute turmoil. I'll come to them in a minute. Now, the thing with Mourinho, with Chelsea, he's been successful there. He's never won the Champions League, though. The same with Real Madrid. He did pretty good there as well. The two things I think that I respect him the most about is what he did with Porto and Inter Milan. Them two teams should never have won the Champions League because they weren't that good. No disrespect, no disrespect to them clubs or the teams at the time. I don't think they would have won it without Mourinho. Um, that's how good of a job he did. So, I want to see how good of a job he can do with Blackpool. I've already holidayed a year, so we can go straight into it and see how we did. Now, Blackpool themselves, if you don't know a lot about Blackpool, they've got two owners called Carl and Owen Oyston, who are literally rinsing the club. There's protests outside the stadium every single time they have a match. Uh, they had a match the other day, only 65 people turned up to the match. I've, I've been down to Bloomfield, Bloomfield Road as well to uh, make a little bit of a vlog about the uh, situation at Blackpool. Um, so, yeah, they're in absolutely tu absolute turmoil. No money, no staff. The owners are completely killing the club. So, I'd like to see what Mourinho could do there. Right, so, we'll just click on Blackpool quickly. They're in Sky Bet League 1. And what I've done with the staff, Mourinho is now in charge. The manager is Neil McDonald in real life. Because I've put Jose Mourinho in charge, I thought it would be a little bit harsh to sack Neil McDonald and keep him unemployed so we've put him as the assistant manager so what we'll do we'll check out the transfers and see who Jose Mourinho brought in because they've not got a pot to piss in they've got nothing to spend at all so this will be quite interesting and I'm looking at this for the first time just like you guys are as well so we'll check out the transfers they brought in Bradley Orr on a free transfer we'll have a quick ganders at him we'll put the editor on so we can have a uh, proper look at his attributes so he's 32, quite versatile. He looks okay. Stamina's 15. Bravery's 15. He reads the game pretty well for someone playing in Sky Bet League 1. Very determined. That's nearly maxed out. Teamwork and work rate are 16 as well. Tackling, marking and heading. Pretty good for someone playing in Sky Bet League 1. So he's done a decent job uh, bringing Bradley Orr in. They brought in La Seine Jean-Francois. You don't get any more French than that. Let's have a look at this guy. He's 28. He's a left back. Very, very fast for someone playing in Sky Bet League 1. Uh, six foot two, so he's a big lad as well. Good jumping reach. Uh, tackling 12, not bad. Quite aggressive. Not bad, I suppose, for Blackpool. Um, for free as well. He also brought in Shane Hill on a free transfer. Like I said a minute ago, they haven't got any money to spend. So it'll be interesting to see how Mourinho can do without the financial backing of Roman Abramovich. Um, he's okay. He plays centre-back just in front of the back four or centre-mid as well. Pretty quick, pretty strong. Very brave, very aggressive, so he's added a little bit of steel to the midfield. Work rate's 15 as well. He's 27. Uh, Denzel Slager plays on the right wing, 22 years old. I'll just have to pop the editor on so we can have a look at his attributes because I'm unemployed. I've not got any scouts or anything like that, so without putting the editor on, I wouldn't be able to tell you what his attributes are like. Um, he's a right winger. Let's have a look. Dribbling and crossing, both 14. That's not bad for Sky Bet League 1. His decision making's okay as well. He's got the flair. Techniques 14, again, not bad. So that's a decent transfer. Uh, Darren Ambrose, he's now at Blackpool. He's had a pretty decent career. Yeah, for Sky Bet League 1, very versatile as well. Um, teamwork, vision, both good. Um, 
composed on the ball. Some decent technical attributes, long throws is good. Decent uh, passing, decent technique, finishing is pretty good as well. So that's Darren Ambrose. Sean Barker, he's a centre-back. Bloody hell, he can also play in net. Wow, we think, I think we found that another John O'Shea. Uh, John O'Shea was, is the only person in Manchester United history to play in every single position for Manchester United, including goalkeeper. Looks like we found another one of them. Um, his best position is centre-back, though. Tackling's 15, marking 17, heading 15. Wow, he's pretty decent. Bravery 17, determination 18, leadership 18, teamwork and work rate 15, strength 14, 6 foot 2 as well, so he's a big lad. Um, Adil Nabe from West Brom on loan. He's a striker, 21. Um, absolutely rapid, knows where the back of the net is. His movement off the ball is pretty good as well, and he's got a decent technique. Uh, Jay Fulton from Swansea, again on loan. He's a centre mid, only 20 years old. Uh, let's have a look at his better attributes. His passing's 15, teamwork and vision 15 and 14, technique 14, composed as well. He looks okay for a 20-year-old 20, 20 playing in the Sky Bet League one. Joel Rothwell from Manchester United. I uh, know all about this guy, being a United fan. Um, he's okay. I suppose he's okay for Sky Bet League one. You know, I don't think he's ever going to cut it in the Premier League. But for Sky Bet League one, he's not bad. Uh, and Cameron Brannigan. This guy who's playing for Liverpool, is actually from the same town as me. I went to the same high school as well, uh, but he's a lot younger than I am, so he probably doesn't know who I am. Um, passing 13, technique 12. It's okay, I suppose. He's only 18 years old. He's going to get some game time at Blackpool. So they're the, the uh, transfers they brought in. They let out two people on loan as well. David Ferguson is all right for a left-back. I've actually got a Blackpool series on my channel. Um, I thought David Ferguson played pretty well. So we'll check out the staff, see if he brought any new staff members in. He brought in one scout called Graham Brown. Judging player ability, 15. Potential, 14. Not bad, I suppose, for Skybet League 1. Right, so we'll check out the league. Let's have a look where they are. Now, the sitting ninth, that is very, very respectable for Blackpool, considering the turmoil they're in. They're probably favourites to come last, 24th. In real life, they've only won one game out of about eight. Um, and that was the first game out of about 30 games that they've won. So Mourinho, in his first season, done very well. Got them to ninth. Um, they were only seven points from getting into the playoff spots. So he's not done too bad in his first season. Hopefully he can get them promoted all the way to the Premier League and then see if he can get them to the Champions League as well. Now you might think another team might come in for him and uh, he could go managing an international um, an international job or he could go back to Chelsea or go to Madrid again or something like that. I've put in his contract that he's joining Chelsea in 20 years. So he can't leave Blackpool. He has to stay at the job. He has to stick at it and work his best and see what he does unless he gets the sack. That is the only thing that will bring him away from Blackpool. So he's done okay. He's got them to, to a ninth place. Very respectable for a team like Blackpool in Sky Bet League 1. I'm sure if you asked any Blackpool supporters in real life, if they take ninth right now, they would absolutely snap your hand off. So yeah, Mourinho, I think, is done okay getting them to ninth. Um, there's not really much to check out. In fact, we'll check out where they came in the other competitions as well. So in the FA Cup, they got knocked out of the second round by Yeovil in the Johnston's Paint Trophy. They got knocked out of the quarter-final, not too bad, by Wickham Wanderers. And in the Capital One Cup, they got knocked out of the first round by Shrewsbury. So it looks like he was kind of concentrating on the league more than the Cups, which was probably the, the uh, sensible thing to do because they were odds on to get relegated so that's going to be the end of the episode i will release one of these videos every couple of days and see how jose is getting on at blackpool a club in turmoil so hit the like button if you liked it if you want to leave a comment leave a comment stay subscribed to the fm scout web uh, youtube channel if you haven't already and if you want to check out my personal channel and look at my personal content as well there'll be a link under the video to check out my stuff as well so again thanks for watching i'll be back at the end of season two to see how Mourinho has done on in his second season and i'll see you guys then.